What is happening here is Stan here at time here presenting you with yet another Minecraft Vanilla Double Scoop. This is a series all about playing vanilla Minecraft. Just me and my buddy Matt. However, Matt has not been here in a while. It's just been me for the last few episodes and I thought I would wait till he joined me for the Iron Farm build. But as you can tell by the title, we're building it anyway because I can't wait anymore. Um, you may be wondering why I'm looking down at a tree and that would be a valid question. And I have a valid answer. So, on episode 8 of this series, a subscriber by the name of Havoc asked me, well, I guess he didn't ask me, but he was wondering what my world would look like in the vanilla texture pack. So, uh, I mean, as you can tell, I've enabled the vanilla texture pack. It's not even faithful, my, my more default texture pack, but here we go. Alright, this is, I haven't done anything too crazy yet. Alright, so... Here's my world, and there's my home. Ugh. Ugh. Home with blue snow. <laughs> looks looks great, right? This world looks fabulous. But then you go in here, you put on Sortex fan there, and voila! Oh my gosh, it's so much better. It's unrealistic how much better this is. Beautiful. Anyway, today, as I've said, and as you have determined by the title when you clicked on this video, we are doing the Iron Farm finally today. We have talked about it, and today is the day. Now, I thought I would do building and, and cutting out and building and cutting out, but you know what? It's episode 10, so let's do something interesting. Let's go ahead and do a speed build. Why not? I like speed builds. I like watching them. I hope you guys do too, and I hope you enjoy it. If you don't like speed builds, well, go ahead and let me know in this episode, and I will try to not break my boat. I will not do it again, probably. I might anyway, but if you tell me you don't like it, you hate speed builds, I will seriously consider not doing it, most likely. Um... I do like speed builds. I like to watch them myself. So, and I also like to make them because it allows me to get a lot done and not worry about commentating. Move boat, commentating while I do it. So, we're gonna build this iron farm. As you can tell, I've prepared a few things. These are our clay, our little scaffolding. I brought some wood over here so we can make some doors. I'm not sure exactly how many we'll need at this juncture, but we'll be prepared no matter what. I'll put a bed there. And I'll put these shears, I'll leave them there, I'll leave that there, and I'll start, I thought I'd wait to start my sand cooking. I got a nice shovel uh, shortly before this to scoop up some sand. I'm almost positive that I won't have enough clay for this. I'm going to take these out so another block doesn't start, because it shouldn't need to. But sometimes it does at the last block. It's weird. Um... So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to grab all these blocks. It probably won't be enough, I can almost promise. So there may be a pause where I leave. You guys won't even know what happened, but I might go mining some more. And as you can tell, I've repaired this pickaxe a little bit. I don't know if it's better to just repair it all the way, but I didn't. My boat's just gone. Alright. <laughs> so uh, here we go, guys. We're going to speed build. I'm going to be playing some music by my new favorite... Uh, he remixes all kinds of Nintendo stuff and other things like that. I'm going to be playing that for you. His name is Benjamin Briggs. I will leave some uh, annotations to go to his website and see his, maybe, I don't know if he has a YouTube channel, but definitely his website. And his link is always in my description because I use it in one of his songs in my intro. So please check him out. His music is fabulous. And I hope you guys will enjoy it. Let me know what your thoughts are and I'll see you guys at the end.
All right, guys, so we are basically done right now. Um, I'm in the water. It's amazing. I uh, hope you enjoyed the speed build. Um, I only built one. There's going to be three more. There's going to be four in total. Um, there's going to be one over there, and there's going to be one way up in the sky and one way up in the sky. But that'll be a surprise. You guys can see that when we come back maybe next episode. Um, what I'm basically going to do next episode is stock them with villagers. Um, I have figured out how to tell the difference between a zombie and a zombie villager in this texture pack. The zombie villagers have little hats. Um, I'll go show you around real quick, just in a slow-mo way, and tell you what's up. You've probably seen this design before, so it's probably not a big surprise to you. It's pretty old-fashioned. Um, I just like the look of it. I, I don't like the looks of the new ones. I mean, the Iron Titan looks dumb. Um, and I'm going for more of looks on this series. Uh, the Iron Titan looks dumb, and the Iron Tower it looks cool, but I don't know. It just doesn't seem to fit with my feel around here. And this thing will fit perfectly with um, our design. Um, the color's a little weird. I wanted to do clay. I don't know why. Um, and I did white and brown, and I did the light gray as well. I was originally going to have the light gray crap, be the cups here. But I decided not to have them be the cups. Now I know, guys, in 1.8, you only need one cup. But it looks stupid if you only do one cup. So I'm doing four cups, and I'm only going to load one. And I'm planning to only load this one. That's why I left the glass off of it. So um, You guys probably already know how this works. But you put the villagers in there. We have all the doors. Um, it should have a maximum of ten villagers. They'll all create iron golems on two floors, which will come here. And they'll float along. It'll be so hard for me to get out of here. I don't know why I did this. Um, but basically, you just keep on flowing. And, alright, you get the idea. Run along. I didn't... So I went ahead and finished this part, too. Um, because it won't be replicated. Uh, and then I guess I'll just break these real quick. Oh, gosh. And then, um, eventually... I'll have lava, and I, I should have put the signs there already, but I didn't. Um, it'll basically be lava that kills the golems and drops their iron into the hoppers. And then I did several layers of chests so that you don't have to, every time you do it, you don't have to move your resources. So I could have just put two trap chests here, but I just wanted to keep them cool like this. I think I like this design. This way you can... Um, oh, there's glass. You can access almost all the chests. You should never really need to access that one. But uh, if I AFK here for like a whole day, maybe more than these two might get full. So I have these all layered like that. So it should work pretty well. Um, right now, it's kind of just a double iron farm. Oh, oh, I want to do one more thing. I want to put paintings. I don't know why, but I really want to put paintings down here. You may have seen that I did the painting and I broke it and it went, it just disappeared. Okay, so that one came back. Look, it disappeared again. Alright, let's see. I like that. That's good. I want like a... Oh, you know what we should do? We should put them in line with the chests, though. Why? Where, where are these paintings going? I don't know what's happening to them. Oh, come on. Do not... What the heck? <laughs> what is the deal? Okay. I don't know where they're going after after I break them, to be honest. Alright, well, I hope you enjoyed the music, and there will be paintings there when we get back. I'm just having troubles with them. Um, let me know anything. I like this underground design. I could do more with it, and I probably will. The reason I'm probably going to leave it alone is after... My home is set up, and after my sort, I uh, start working on the sorting system. A lot of this will change. Um, this won't change, but a lot of that down there will change. So I don't want to uh, put too much attention on that part. Um, I thought it would be cool to keep the pipes under. Hey, painting. Where are the other ones at? They floated up to the top for some reason. 
Huh. It's weird. Let's see. Oh, that's weird. Well, you can see I got in an ender chest. I got like five minutes into the build, and then I realized I was going to be nowhere near enough clay. And I've made several trips for clay and sand for glass and all that stuff. So, I don't know. It was a pretty fun build. Um, next episode, we will work on stocking the villagers. Like I said, that will be our main goal um, is getting villagers in there. And either by next episode or after next episode, this thing will be complete. So you can give me advice. You can say if you like it, if you don't like it. But just realize that by the time you see this video, it's probably done already. Or by the time you see the villager video, it's definitely done. But you can try. Maybe I won't have it done. I probably won't do it today, but I will record the second episode today where we stock this with villagers. I don't know. Actually, maybe... I wanted to stock one before I build the other so it can start getting iron while I'm working. But I don't know. So I'll build the other three compartments off camera. I've done everything important. Now it's just making that three more times. It shouldn't take long. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I think that's it. I'm going to put paintings down there if I can get them to stop being so stupid. Um, and that's pretty much it. Pretty amazing. Hope you guys enjoyed the freaking Ben Briggs music. It's amazing, right? Alright, I'm tired. I'm going to go. Hope you guys enjoyed. Seize your destiny. Check subscribe and become a hero today. See ya.